Hello and welcome! In this example, I want to show you how to find the slant asymptote for a rational function. Now, one thing that might go through your mind is, how do you know this does have a slant asymptote? Well, one way you can tell whether it does have a slant is actually compare the largest power in the top with the largest power in the bottom. Now, if the power on top is exactly one larger than the bottom, then you know it must have a slant asymptote. So, as you can see in this example, the largest power on the top is 3, versus the largest power on the bottom, which is 2. So the top is exactly one larger than the bottom. So to actually find that slant asymptote, we go through the long division process and basically record our quotient. So I'm going to take a 4x cubed plus a 0x squared plus a 0x minus 5. So that represents our top polynomial. I'm going to divide this by 2x squared plus 0x minus 6. Now you'll notice that I'm putting in some zero placeholders for some of my missing powers of x. This is a good idea just to make sure that everything lines up correctly. All right, now let's actually go through this division process. So 2x squared times what would equal a 4x cubed? Well, 2x squared will do it. Because 2x squared times a 2x will give me a 4x cubed. Perfect. Now we'll multiply by the other terms and subtract away that new polynomial down here. So 2x times 0, it's a 0x squared. 2x times a minus 6, a minus 12x. Looks good. And now that we have that down there, we want to subtract it away. Let's see what this gives us. So 4x cubed minus 4x cubed will be gone. 0 minus 0, gone. Looks like this is a 0 minus a negative 12. That will become a positive 12x. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, at this point, the power is now less than what I'm dividing it by. So this polynomial down here represents my remainder. Now what this is really showing me is that when I run through the division process, I get a 2x plus my remainder, which is still being divided by the 2x squared minus 6. Now this quotient part that we got, the 2x, this is where the slant asymptote is going to come from. In fact, I could say that the equation for the slant is y equals 2x. And there you go. So always look for the quotient when looking for that slant asymptote. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.